Into Tilbury comes the liner Strathedon after a voyage from Australia that witnessed the courage and the tragedy of rescue at sea. On the liner, one of the lifeboats was missing. It sank during a gallant attempt to rescue the crew of a Greek fishing vessel, Jason, in mountainous seas off Italy. Two of the lifeboat survivors, Assistant Engineer Suckling and Quartermaster Rigdon, help us to piece together the story. We went for the boat went down stern first, and we cleared the boat, all hands was clear of the boat before she capsized. Well, Mr. Suckling, when the boat swamped, you were in charge of the engines, I take it? Yes, I was in charge of the engines in that time. What were they doing? They were going full ahead, and uh, we were going into pretty heavy sea. Was the boat under control? The boat was, well, under those conditions, it, it's very, very difficult to keep a boat head under the sea. But um, we were doing pretty well. We got within 200 yards of our own ship, and uh, we went down. The Strathedon's master, Captain Cummins, tells how the rescue began. We arrived on the scene in very tempestuous weather, blowing a gale, high seas and a very heavy swell indeed. Our boat was launched, got away very well, over to the wreck and picked up the men. And these are pictures actually filmed on board the liner which show the launching of the ill-fated lifeboat into those raging seas. These are the heroic men who went to the rescue. Eight of them went to their doom. The lifeboat battled its way to the sinking Jason. That's the Jason out there. And took aboard the 15 Greek fishermen. Then, barely a hundred yards from the liner and safety, the boat was overwhelmed. More boats were lowered, but only seven men were picked up. Captain Cummins tells how he called off the search. But I could not risk any more men. I'd already lost one boat full. So I could only hoist my boats and drift around in this gale, looking and hoping to find more men. It rained continuously, heavy rain all night. We found none. Nobody was seen. 